In life, Jane McGrath was an inspiration, a beautiful and courageous champion for women with breast cancer. Her passion for helping others led to the McGrath Foundation funding much needed breast care nurses, especially in regional Australia. The foundation is celebrating 10 years and now a host of pink nurses support and care for breast cancer patients across the country. It is an extraordinary achievement and seven years after we lost Jane McGrath, her legacy and her compassion is alive and present. I believe everything happens for a reason and everybody has challenges to face in life. Everyone has a story to tell and, and mine at the moment is one of breast cancer. And, uh, and it's the way you ha handle the challenges that life throws at you that determines the person you are. And you can be a victim or you can be a survivor and give it your best shot. And I would always give it my best shot. Monday morning in South Australia's beautiful and remote Kangaroo Island. And Cheryl Baxter is on her way to work to help other women give it their best shot. Early morning, the deck rolling under our feet and a coffee. And it's the beginning of work for you. It is indeed, Charles, yes. Every week, Cheryl takes a ferry to Cape Jarvis on the mainland. What's our first appointment? First person today, she's a fabulous woman, a grandma and a, and a mum and a, and a wife and she has secondary breast cancer. It's a journey she's happy to make because like the other McGrath nurses around Australia, Cheryl is making a difference. Charlie, I love my job. I get to meet the most interesting and amazing people. Are you an extraordinary person or an ordinary person doing an extraordinary job? I'm extremely ordinary. I'm just one of those links that maybe can make the experience of breast cancer not so frightening for women. I feel like we've changed channel and suddenly we've drifted into a country practice. <laughs> it feels a bit like that. Beautiful, beautiful landfall. Cheryl treats 65 breast cancer patients here in the southern Florio Peninsula. Hello Cheryl. Mandy, come in. Thank you. How are you going? <laughs> Good. Good to see you. Great to see you. Hello. Come in out of the Hello. rain. Rain, hail or shine, Cheryl drives her rounds, giving medical advice, comfort and support. No, you're a little bit paranoid. It's good to get these things checked. It's essential work, a living testament to the bold dream of a woman named Jane McGrath. Jane and her memory, she's an inspiration to you, isn't she? Absolutely. And I remember seeing her on an interview uh, one night and I was just so impressed by her sense of fun. My line of vision just kept being drawn to my left breast and I came out of the bathroom with a tarot around my waist and I said, does this breast look all right to you? <laughs> <laughs> and men being men and breasts said, yeah, it looks all right to me. <laughs> but this is a new toy, isn't it? Jane McGrath found a special place in the hearts of all Australians as she bravely fought breast cancer with humour and dignity. Some great advice, there's some beautiful poems, prayers. I had the privilege of meeting this remarkable woman in 2003. And my first thought was kids. I just, mm. I, I, I couldn't breathe for those few seconds and I, I've just gone, oh, the children. And I thought, right, I'm just going to do absolutely everything in my power to be rid of this once and for all. My love, leave yourself Jane initially had no idea her future husband was a cricket star. I would be walking through Cronulla and, and people would start shouting things to him and, you know, hi, Glenn, how you going? And uh, who are Glenn, all of this. And I'm thinking, guy's a popular bloke. He knows so <laughs> many people. She would go on to make the most of her high-profile marriage, <laughs> turning her private battle into a public crusade to raise awareness about breast cancer and fund more breast care nurses. 
it's so important that you have someone that, that knows what they're talking about and, and has been down this road before and that's where the, the role of a breast care nurse fits in and they're there basically to hold your hand every step of the way and I think most hospitals would say they needed an army of them. When Jane McGrath died in 2008, there were four pink-shirted nurses. Do you mind if I have a look, ma'am? Oh, yes, please. Today, there are 105 McGrath breast care nurses, just like Cheryl, changing lives around Australia. Embarrass Cheryl for me by telling me how good she is, how important oh, she is look, to you. She's like my mum, or she's like my, my best sister. Miranda Boyd has stage four cancer. And she's been my lifeline, she really has. She put me on with the breast cancer support group because I needed to connect with other ladies who were similar to me. So kick it to the front and then to the side. In 2012, this sprightly grandmother was told she had only weeks to live. Bring your right hand around to meet the bear. But thanks in part to Cheryl's support, she's still here, fighting. The first year after diagnosis, I didn't plan much. I remember dropping Olivia off at childcare every morning and there was a little poster there about Grandparents' Day in October 2013. And I'd have to, walk, I'd have to look the other way because I thought I'm never gonna make it. But I made it and I enjoyed it. And now I do plan, I do plan. And I know that any day, it may stop, I know that. Oh, hello. <laughs> good to see you. How are you? Oh, really good. Today, Cheryl, Miranda, and the Victor Harbour Breast Cancer Support Group are putting on a special morning tea. It's my great, great pleasure to introduce Tracy Bevan, yes. who you all know, who I talked about a lot, and as you know, is Jane McGrath's best friend. Or and that's my favourite title. Yes. I know. Tracy Bevan's other title is director of the McGrath Foundation. I made a pledge to my friend on her deathbed that I would continue. I looked into her eyes and I promised her that for the rest of my life, until there's a cure for breast cancer, and please God, I hope I see that day, I will make sure that I will continue her legacy of raising funds for breast care nurses. Wish to God I'd die and all that sort of rubbish. These women are keen to share their survival stories and to say thank you. It's not a life sentence. You can That's good. Um, bounce on and, and keep on and help other people. That's good. Mm. That's really good. Good on you. Yeah. Thank you. Given the topic of cancer, I did expect today to be a more depressing event. Oh, this is good. <laughs> A little bit of scones. The scones, yes. Nothing from Woolies here, straight from the oven. That's as, yeah. that's as good as my mum would make. <laughs> but this resilient gaggle is decidedly upbeat and displays a wicked sense of humour. So right. it's the Boob Award. The Boob Award. Every gone. week they hand out the Boob Award, donated by a 90-year-old bloke. And, and tell me, the elderly gentleman yes. who made these did he carve them from memory or did he have a model? I reckon he must have had a model. Yeah. I can imagine an elderly lady with <coughs> knockers of that size. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, but they are laughing. They laugh a lot. They're here, they're alive, and they want to live while they're alive and enjoy, not just live, have fun and enjoy. Hi, Tracy. We met last night. For Tracy, it's time to feel proud of what the Bevan and McGrath partnership has achieved. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, but from the bottom of my beautiful friend, Jay McGrath's heart, thank you so much. You know, to come here today and know that Cheryl is making a, a big difference for all your lives it means so much to me because I know that she's just so proud. <sighs> This difference wouldn't be possible without the generosity of the Australian public. The third day is Jane McGrath Day. The whole place turns pink in honour of that lady. The fire and the fire. Jane McGrath might have lost her battle with cancer, but with the help of her best mate, 
she's still winning the campaign. Do you think Jane could ever have imagined in her wildest dreams this organisation would have grown to what it has? She would never have dreamt in the short time that she's been gone that we'd have 105 nurses and the 36,000 families that those nurses have been able to help. I know that she would be so, so proud of, of Australia, so, so proud of the support that they've given our little charity. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.